Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started animating. In the past two videos, we actually rigged the character using the quick rig tool and then we painted the skin weights um, so that the distortion of the geometry was correct. And now we're going to start animating it. We're going to just take a very simple step and I'll show you how to get started. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to open up the previous file that we did with the skin weights. Okay, so this is the previous file that we did. We painted the skin weights and if I click on this handle, W to move and I can see my uh, weights are correct. My deformations are correct, Z. And so we can get this uh, animation started. Now I want him to take a, just one step so that we can get this video done quickly. What I'd like to do is go online, um, Google Walk Cycle, and get this off the internet. This is an awesome reference, um, and it shows you the positions of the legs, the arms, and the body for just taking a simple step. And then you can continue. Once you take one step, guys, the next step and the next step and the next step is easy. So um, once you download the image, I'm going to go to my side view and I am going to the, go to the view menu, image plane, import image and import it as a reference. Here it is. Uh, it is uh, pointing the wrong way. So I just need to rotate this. I'm going to push this back and I am going to rotate it. Uh, e for rotation and then I'm going to rotate it on, on the Y until it's 180 degrees. And so now it's pointing the right, um, the right way. I am going to scale it so that it fits my character, but I'm going to hit D for my uh, pivot point tool. And I'm going to move the pivot point to the bottom right here on the floor. That way when I scale, it's going to scale from the floor. So I'm going to scale it. I also want to see through my character. So I want to uh, go ahead and activate x-ray view so that I can see through my character and I want to get those shoulders aligned and the hips aligned so I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit more right to about right there I think I'm ready uh, one more thing that I like to do is adjust the color gain on this image it's way too white it's way too bright and I can't see, I mean, it just looks a little bit too bright. So the color gain, I'm going to make it a little darker, uh, maybe even mat try to match the background and see that to me looks a little bit less um, bright. So here we go. We've got our image in place. Uh, we're looking at the character. And so um, what I'd like to do first I'm gonna, um, I am on frame one. What I'd like to do first is uh, go ahead and uh, create a keyframe for all of the handles. Remember, um, since this rig uses IK chains, all you have to do is animate these red handles. We're not gonna touch the joints and we're not gonna touch these blue handles either. So. Um, just go ahead and select all the red handles and it's only one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Create a keyframe, hit S to set a keyframe for all of these on frame one. And make sure that you have auto key turned on. This uh, icon should be red. And so at frame one, I'm just going to lower his arms. Make sure that his arms are lowered. There we go. Right there, right by his body. And then this one, I'm gonna just push it back and right by his side, right there. Uh, when we start animating the arms, then we'll start animating the arms. But he's in a good position to start. So. On the side view, 
I will move the reference image into position. So here's the reference image, W to move, and I am going to just put that ankle right where his foot is, right there. All right, cool. Now we can get started posing him. I'm going to advance five frames. Uh, as you can see, he's leaning forward a little bit. I'm going to push him forward. I'm going to rot rotate his body a little bit forward. And then I'm going to pick up the right leg. So select the right leg controller and W to move. And I'm going to move it up and rotate it. This is on frame. I'm not going to go all the way back like he has it. Uh, remember that this walk cycle, he's already taken a step. We're just getting ready to take a step. So if I go back here, I'm going to hide the joints just to make it easier for this, for us to see the action. In five frames, he's going to pick up his foot. That's all we did. He just leans forward and picks up his foot. That's cool. That's a good start. On frame 10, the next pose. We're going to do every five frames. So on frame 10, we're ready to do the next pose. So I'm going to select the, uh, the reference image and push this so that we could see that he, I'm going to select the hip controller, move it up. In fact, I'll push it up a little bit. So the right leg uh, bends, swings forward to here. So this is the right leg. I'm going to swing it forward to about there. And I'm going to rotate it just slightly. And the left leg will um, try to um, get a tiptoe right there. So all we did was we pushed up, we pushed up, and advanced forward. So on frame 15, let's move this. Because on frame 15, he's going to make contact with the ground. We did this one. And so I'm going to select the um, hip controller and bring him down. All the way down to here. Um, the right foot, bring it all the way over here. Extend it. Rotate it. Remember, he's going to make contact right there. I might move it up a little bit. And this one, we're going to pick up uh, a little. We're just going to rotate it a little, slightly, and then move it forward a little, like that. And so from 10, he goes from here to here, to here. Now on 20, the next one is this one, where he goes down and plants his foot. So I'm going to get the uh, reference image and I'm going to move it to position right there. And grab the hip, move him forward and down right to there. Get the right leg, rotate it, plant it, boom, right there. Put it in place and then the left foot, the right and then the left foot controller, I am going to move it about to there and rotate it. Rotate it to about there. I'm going to move it down a little bit further, right to there. And this one seems a little bit too far down. I'm just going to move it to there. And so he goes from here, steps, and then shifts his weight forward awesome and then and then the last step is a pass position and so on frame 25 select that one uh, I am going to move the ankle right next to this and then keyframe the hips going up um, this leg going here Right here. And then this leg um, just gets there. On, la on, 
on frame 30, he's going to put this foot down and then he's going to lean back to the original standing position. So uh, let's get the, um, the hips. We're going to move them back and rotate them right to there. And then this leg will plant it down. We'll rotate it. And move it down. I think we need to go a little bit further down right here. And just rotate him a little bit back um, so that he that he's standing straight and then forward a little bit and then that's it. And so let's look at what we did here in the perspective view. Hit play, boom, he just takes a step and stops. Takes a step and stop. So that's the first step guys and that's how you start animating. I'm gonna animate the arms I'll speed up the process. I will animate the arms and the head, maybe looking down and then towards the camera. Um, and I will see you on the other side. Hey guys, so we've animated the character. We animated the legs, taking a step. We animated the arms, we animated the head. This is how you get started. One more thing I'd like to touch on. This locator here at the bottom, you can move your character anywhere in the scene. You can rotate the character so that he walks exactly where you want it. You can, and in fact, you can put them like on, on a platform or whatever. You can just position your character exactly where you want him. And then, um, then he will walk in this way exactly from where you put them. And, and that's it, guys. Uh, that's all that I have. Yeah, have fun. You can make this character do whatever you want. He can walk, he can run, he can jump, he can do anything that you want him. Just take the necessary steps to create the keyframes for the red handles, and that's how you get it done. Hey guys, uh, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you guys.